Hi, I'm Ingrid Sartori. And I'm Azar Aziz. Today we are going to make Brigadeiro. Brigadeiro is a traditional Brazilian treat. Pretty much everywhere you go in Brazil, you find brigadeiros. They are super easy to make. You only need four ingredients. One can of condensed milk, one tablespoon of butter, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, and chocolate sprinkles, two cups. We start with the condensed milk, and we add the butter here. The last thing is the cocoa powder. And at this point still, the pan is not hot. We haven't turned the stove on, just making sure all the ingredients are in, uh, mingling together before we uh, get going here. So before we turn the heat on, we need to make sure that everything is properly mixed. Then you can go ahead and turn on your heat, uh, medium-high heat. Because chocolate is so sensitive, it can burn under, under stress. You make sure that the heat is not too high. On our stove, it goes all the way up to nine. We keep it around six. And then continuously mixing it, never stopping, and make sure you wipe down all the sides of the pan so none of the chocolate has a chance to stick to the sides and burn. This texture, we can use it as a film for cakes or cupcakes. Generally, uh, it would take about 10 minutes because it cooks really quickly. And once you get to that thick texture where you can roll it off the spoon a little bit, but it will still stick together, it will hold the texture. But once it's done, you have to chill it. It's best overnight, so cook it a day before if you're making for your friends and family, um, or even if you leave it in the fridge for about three to four hours, it should be good enough for you to handle it. The reason why we want it uh, nice and chilled is because when you're working with it and you're rolling balls, you're generating heat and you're gonna start melting them. So you wanna make sure they're chilled enough all the way through so you don't do that and you keep the texture. We need to cover the brigadeiro. So now that the uh, brigadeiro has been chilling for a few hours, it's nice and cool. We have these little cups here that we place them in after uh, covering them with sprinkles. Always take them out before you start rolling the brigadeiro because once you get going, your hands will be dirty and you can't get these out. So the perfect size we found is uh, 20 grams per ball. Uh, we used to make very small ones too, but they were just not enough. Too big is just too much. So I learned to make brigadeiros with my family, actually with my auntie. She always makes um, brigadeiros and, and, and cakes. So it's like a family recipe, but in Brazil everyone knows how to make brigadeiros. All these desserts, they are made of brigadeiros. I think it's, it's brought us closer. Um, and it's really uh, been a really rewarding experience for both of us. 